Hi, I'm Paula Pasquale and today I'm going to show you how to make a happy birthday card using the Bright Rosa elongated hexagon card. This is going to be the masculine version and I'm going to do a slightly more feminine version. So the first thing I'm going to do, I have got here a pattern paper that I created with a spray of uh, paper, uh, spray color, and then I'm going to put the die, the elongated hexagon die that will cut the shape of the card. Place it on top and just run it through the machine. For this die, you can use any of the leading die cutting machines that is A4 size. Just run it through and. The die will cut and do the scoring in the middle, right where you want it to fold the card. So there we have it. Take the die out and you can see here that it has a score down the middle. I'm just going to cut it in here and it creates that shape. Now if I put it like so, you can see that even those vertical it stands up perfectly. Now what's the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take the intricate, you know, that pattern into a die and place it right in the middle. Using low tack tape, I'm going to place my plate in here and then I'm going to put it like so. Because I have to put it horizontal like this, I will go through the die cutting machine a couple of times. Some die cutting machines may need to have a shim on them or some of them you can just run it across perfectly at one point. Run it through. Now to check if it has die cut, turn it over and you can see that everything in here has the lines have come close. They have come to the other side. So remove gently the low tack tape and gently ease off the beautiful pattern that has die cut in here. Now just kind of fill it up gently. Sometimes I'm a little bit too forceful with it, but you know, you have an intricate pattern. Now these bits in here, you can use your pokey tool, your release die, you know, the brush release like that. And look at that gorgeous pattern in here. There. So this is a geometric pattern that works really well for cards for men as well, for um, you know, like more feminine things. Now, included in the kit, in, the, in this bundle, you have got the corner dies. So you can then place them like, uh, I think it's this one. That's one, that one. So you can see that that line goes across there. So you have got them, you place them like more or less there. And then you use low tack tape as well to secure them onto the cars. So I'm going to put them horizontal, like so, so then I can open it up and run it across. And that one is as well, that one in here. And then just going to put low tack tape. More, uh, just, just take your time a little bit to place, place it in the right place. And then just take the uh, low tack tape another time and then do the other two corners in there. And then, like so, um, and then open it up like that, and then just run it through the decanter machine. Now that will cut into the car, creating those really airy corners into the car, and it gives that floating uh, element to the car that I designed to to be very, you know, kind of almost, you know floating, you know, almost suspends, suspending uh, reality into it. And there we have got, can you see there? That is, how easy was that? Now I have included in this kit, you have got layering dies in here. So you can then cut, can you see that I have cut that vellum in here? And now this is two, two, um, for two reasons. One of them is because then I can have a little bit, strengthen a little bit this uh, front page. So it will be a little bit thicker by adding, uh, this is about uh, 200 GSM vellum or maybe 180. So it's not too thin and it makes it the front a little bit thicker. I'm using very little PVA glue 
and sometimes I have used it a little bit, it has spread a little bit more. So if that bothers, it will dry completely clear. Now, if, if you wanted to make sure that it doesn't show completely, you can use, there is some vellum, vellum glues, but you can see that, except here that I spread plotted up, you cannot really see the glue anywhere else by using dry clear glue. Now I have gone ahead and I have toy cut as well that red piece of, um, you know, we're using the, the same dye, but for the inside. So you can see how it kind of softens and makes it, makes it a little bit reddish as well. And the vellum gives it another look into it. So there are so many different ways of using these dyes. Now that also makes it a little bit thicker, the cars, and it makes it a little bit, but it still will stand up perfectly on its own, on that point of it. Now to create a happy birthday, I'm gonna take a piece of white card, and I'm using the also bright rosa um, birthday words. So I'm gonna say happy and birthday. Now these dice cut into the card and into the card, or you can use them with a rectangle that will cut it out, but because I wanted just the happy, birthday so i'm going to place them like so line them up in there and then i'm just going to put the low tack tape in this to secure them i'm going to recycle the low tack tape from before it just make sure that they don't overlap it and then I'm just gonna run it through, put it through my Dicati machine. Now these um, sentiment words are about six inches in width, so therefore you can use your standard Dicati machine, like a big shot or so. so just run it through. And there I have got the happy birthday perfectly in there. Right. Now, I would probably use a trimmer to trim these bits off, but um, also you can use, use whatever tools you have got at home. And now I have got, um, so I'm going to have it properly cut, maybe about this big. So I'm just going to use the die itself to just give me a straight edge in here. So sometimes you have to use what you have, you have got at hand and this will give me a straight edge in there. So more or less, it's been. So that's gonna go in here. And I would like to have, you know, that, that black, it kind of, so shall I do happy or birthday? I think I'm gonna go with the birthday in black. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the rectangle that was cutting f perfectly for the happy birthday and just like cut that. So that's gonna be, give me a more or less perfect size and just run it through and you could you decorate it using flowers or or butterflies or other elements into here but i'm just going to keep it quite plain and then just put it there the birthday in here that works for me and so what i'm going to do is put a little bit of glue on the back of my hand just make sure that it's as as spread out as possible then just place it like that so it has got a little bit of an edge underneath it i think it looks quite classy and then just glue in here glue in there and just place it in here like so and just press it down so it kind of mix contact with it and then turn it over trim the space off here and there you have it now you had decorated with a further sticker and I just put a little fern from also from bright rosa but you can decorate it with this little pearls and crystals if you wanted but this is basically how you make a happy birthday quick and easy from start to finish but with that kind of bold pattern and words in there from Bright Rosa. So I hope you liked this mini tutorial on how to create from start to finish a happy birthday card.